Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Sly YouTube channel. And this video we are going to discuss about uh, uh, some of the comments which I have received for my video on how to convert the low runner scripts to JMeter. And I have received two comments on it. And uh, in that, one of the comments from Nagiretti was to use um, this particular uh, way to upload and run the JMeter script from your uh, load runner to JMeter. Uh, I understand. So, so uh, thank you so much for your comments. I really uh, appreciate your effort in watching my post and adding your comments. So basically, uh, so firstly, we'll uh, see about uh, the uh, comment from uh, Nagi Reddy. So, uh, he, so the video is basically how to convert your load runner scripts to JMeter scripts, and this has come up with a reason. Uh, where uh, we were migrating the load runner to JMeter. So we do not have any of uh, any load runner components or any of the load runner tool that we're going to use and everything has to be shifted to JMeter, right? And so this has come out of that particular scenario. And when I have uh, walked uh, through this link, when I did walk through to, uh, through this link, I found out that uh, there were two things. So one is we can use our uh, uh, current JMeter test, JMeter script, and we can uh, run it through Jamie, uh, load runner. So, which is here, the scenario is like I'm going to use or I'm going to create a JMeter script and I'm going to run it through load runner. But my video here is I'm going to how I'm going to run the load runner script to JMeter and it's not JMeter to load runner, right? So, yeah, in fact, I, I will definitely go through this um, uh, steps and I will definitely create a video on this as well. But again, uh, the point of telling you this is uh, the understanding here is I'm going to run my load runner script i'm going to convert my load runner script to jmeter script so it's no no more it's going to be anywhere dependent on load runner it's completely going to be only the jmeter right so that is why i have created this video and in fact um, i went through this video and where uh, they have told that uh, we uh, can uh, like create a script in jmeter and then we have to upload the jmeter script to load runner enterprise where we are going to run it through load runner, right? So in that case, again, it's uh, it's a kind of a, I, I won't say it's invalid, but I would say it's a different approach and it's completely different approach from what I'm uh, approaching in this video, which is uh, running from load runner to JMeter. And then secondly, uh, a video from Dimitri and uh, Dimitri is again, uh, one of our vivid follower and thank you Dimitri for all your uh, updates, your comments and feedbacks. I, I really appreciate your efforts. And here, I would like to tell one thing uh, for uh, Dimitri. So Dimitri, for, for anyone. So here, uh, he has given a, a converter uh, to uh, convert the uh, Blaze Meter uh, page where we can convert our script. So basically, here, uh, we can convert uh, any files which are uh, have, which has had extension or XML or Selenium or PCAP and JSON to JMX format. So this is actually a very good thing. And in fact, I will uh, even try uh, some of my videos and I will post some of my our videos in this part. But the practical difficulty in doing this is there are two things. So firstly, the data security. So, uh, okay, for the first part, I'll tell you this is the second part. The first part is this particular uh, page will not be accessible in most of the company's intranet page. So for example, when you are inside any organization where they uh, have their data as their first priority or where they have their data security as their first priority, they will not allow this page to be opened inside their uh, network, right? So that's the very first thing. So in the very first step itself, uh, it's very clear that we will not be able to access it. And that second part is, again, like I said, the data security. So any script that we do will have some data in it, right? Any data, any test data. And the companies or the organization do not want that to be leaked out because when you say convert, nobody is sure where this conversion will take place, whether this takes place in uh, any point from the blaze meter end, like it goes, it will get uploaded somewhere. A copy of this will be stored somewhere in the internet in the cloud or somewhere with the blaze meter. So that is again a risk, right? And the organizations are not ready to take that risk because every data, every single data is customer is, is mostly has to be secured and it's customer 
since everybody is uh, first priority is the customer's uh, data security. So nobody will be willing to share their data to some uh, kind of a blaze meter or any anything, anything outside their uh, intended or any uh, outside their in, uh, uh, out of willingness, they won't be uh, ready to do this part. So firstly, uh, I would say this particular uh, page is not open inside any of the organization's website for, for in, I, I, until I would say until with, from, from my experience, I'd say in my organization, they won't allow this to open. And the second thing is the data security. And nowadays, I would say the data security is the most, most, most critical thing which everybody is handling. So nobody will be ready to do this. So I really appreciate Dimitri for sharing your uh, uh, insights into this but this is actually the practical difficulty which we are facing and that's the reason i have come up with this scenario and uh, i believe i have uh, answered your question why i do not recommend this but definitely i will create uh, videos on how to convert the hire the xml the selenium files and how do they really work in fact this is actually a time saving option but still when it comes to uh, the data safety or the data security that's the first priority, right? We can take some uh, time to convert. In fact, I would say that if you see the video uh, of how to convert the low runner to JMeter, it's, it's quite simple and it's quite easy. Uh, and it's quite safety as well. The safety is the first part. So safety, data safety, and data security, because it, everything happens within the organization and nothing goes outside the organization. So, and that's the reason uh, most of the organizations do not appreciate uh, the way of doing this, where you're going to upload something, it's going to stay somewhere, the conversion happens somewhere. Yep. So yeah, I think uh, I have answered the question. And yeah, thank you so much for all your comments and feedbacks. So please uh, do uh, and uh, like uh, watch my all watch all my post. Uh, give your comments and feedbacks. That will definitely uh, empower every one of us. And thank you so much again. And I will meet you in another interesting video. Until then, it's bye bye from Mr. Shanmugam and your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. Bye bye.